Uh, what's up YouTube? Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to modify some uh, slider text on your iPhone uh, only using uh, Winterboard. So this is primarily if you can't get uh, the customized application to work like I can't. Uh, it just does not cooperate with my phone. Uh, seems like there are a few apps out there for, uh, for jailbroken phones that just do not work sometimes. So this is a solution for you to be able to change slider text and by that I mean the text on your phone like right here and also when you're going to shut your phone off the text here uh, the other text also is going to be the emergency call text like when there's no sim card in the phone um, it'll say you know slide to make a call or whatever I mean you can change that to whatever you want and uh, also the alarm cancel slide so if you have an alarm going off uh, the slider comes up to says slide to cancel you can change that to whatever you want uh, you know shut up or whatever you want to put in there so I'm going to show you guys how to do that First thing, um, I'm running a 3G phone uh, with the latest firmware. Uh, I don't know if you'll necessarily uh, have to do that, if you have, it has to be a 3G or not. Uh, I do know that you're, you have to be able to run the most recent version of Winterboard. Uh, if you don't have a jailbroken phone, uh, quick pawn the easiest way to do it. I mean, um, infant could do that. It's super easy. Um, during this install, it's going to give you an option to uh, install either one of these as well. Install both of them. It's good to have them. Um, Winterboard is the program that you're going to need to apply this theme that you're going to be creating. Um, so you can get that pretty much on either one of these. I use Cydia before I use installers because it seems to be more reliable. Uh, and that's how you're going to apply the theme again is with Winterboard. Uh, you're going to need OpenSSH. Um, that's a program that you're going to install on your phone again. Uh, again, either through Cydia or installer. Um, that's how you're going to get the theme from your computer to the phone. Uh, you'll need a client on your computer, an SSH client, so that they can talk. Obviously, the Mac users can just use Terminal. Uh, PC users uh, can download WinSCP. That's what I'm using. Otherwise, there is a program called uh, iPhone Browser uh, that you can use as well. That works pretty well, but you have to actually connect it to your phone, uh, connect your computer to your phone with a uh, uh, USB cable. That's iPhone Browser right there. Um, if you use WinSCP, it goes over a Wi-Fi connection. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, you'll have to use... Um, uh, the iPhone browser program. Um, okay, basically what you're going to be doing is creating a, a very basic theme uh, that's going to allow you to do this that you're going to be able to apply through Winterboard. So what, basically what you're going to do is to create folders on your desktop to start off with. So start by creating a folder called slidertext.theme. Uh, inside of that folder create a folder called bundles. Inside of that folder create a folder called com.apple.springboard. Inside of that folder, create a folder called en.lproj, and then inside of that folder is going to be where you need to put the .strings file. That file is going to be in a link uh, to the right here. Uh, you can download it from RapidShare. Um, there's no crap in it or anything. It's just I took it right off of my phone. Uh, you can't create a strings file. Uh, I would imagine that's something that developers can do, but I don't have the program to do it. If you can do it on your own, you can certainly do that, but this is where you're going to get the code uh, to apply the theme to allow you to change the string. So just download that file and then put it in your whole file, you know, at the in this file here. So this is what your file path should look like. Uh, and on your iPhone, where you need to put it is basically in a uh, root library themes, and then activate the theme via Winterboard, and you're done. So basically, what you want to do is you want to go into WinSCP. It looks like this, uh, and you're going to go to library themes and then there's going to be a whole list of themes or maybe you don't have any but that's where your winterboard themes go and then that file string that you created on your desktop basically what you're going to do is you're going to take it like minus right here and you're going to want to put it in there I'm not going to do it because it's obviously already in there for me and you just copy it in once that's done uh, you can re uh, respring your phone if you have a capability to do that otherwise just restart it um, and then when you come back in, there'll be a list. Uh, you go back into your winter board, into your list of themes, and uh, the, th the theme slider text will be in there, and you can uh, apply that theme, uh, and it'll change your text. Now, again, i got to show you guys how to change the text. So that file that you guys downloaded, what you're going to want to do is open that up. And the way to do that is just right-click, open with, notepad. And again, you want to do this before you actually apply the theme, obviously, otherwise it's just going to be all the default text in here. So what you can, what you can change, I mean, I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see it. What you're actually going to want to change is just the stuff that's inside of parentheses. Like it says a waylock label, 
equals slide to unlock in parentheses. You can change that text. You can change any of the text that's in parentheses to whatever you want. Just be aware of the length because if you go too long it's just going to show a series of periods that you know cut, kind of cut it off and it won't look very good. So do a little experimenting with that. Whenever you make a modification make sure you save it otherwise it's not going to apply. Um, and then again you can uh, you can make changes even after that file is installed to your iPhone. So I mean you can do all this that I explained to you to put it into your phone and then after it's in there uh, you can go in through WinSCP or uh, an iPhone browser and just open it up uh, and it'll show as a text file and then you can just modify it once it's already in your phone. Uh, you'll have to respring your phone again obviously every time you change it but that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions feel free to post a comment I'll try to get back to you guys with it. Um, Otherwise, uh, this is I'm kind of new to this. I'm going to try to get some more instructional videos up here to some interesting solutions for iPhone. Um, but if you like it, post comments for me. So thanks a lot.